Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's introduction brings you a new maker in my Emerging Indian Shoemakers series. I'm actually proud to see the shoemaking in India really elevate to a new level. You're seeing makers who are doing hand welted, hand last, and hand stitched shoes, as is the case with this brand, which is Oblum. Designing shoes with beautiful patinas, largely done by hand, and just really doing a great job at bringing Indian shoemaking to a new level. And so I reached out to Tarun Oblum to learn about the brand, as well as to inquire whether he'd be interested in having his shoes featured on my channel. And he agreed and we discussed this model, which is his whole cut model built on his relatively new Sukhoi last. The Sukhoi last, as you can see, has a asymmetric soft square shape. You can see the soft square shape to the toe box right here and the slight asymmetry between the medial aspect of the shoe over here and the lateral aspect of the shoe, which is more protuberant. If I turn the shoe to its side, you will see that that shoe has a slight pitch or chiseled shape to the front of the toe box. So I call this a soft squared chisel last. This is a standard hole cut with a back heel seam, which you can see right here. And you can see a beautifully pitched heel, a uh, relatively high height to the heel. Here you can see a rubber surface that adorns the entire heel block and a slight scallop to the edge of that heel block. Other than that, um, hand done burgundy patina with a bit of darker burnishing along the toe box. The upper is constructed of a Argentinian leather. Um, it's a full grain leather, but Tarun fully admits that this is not at the level of quality that he wishes due to some supply issues and the cost of importing leathers as opposed to the size of his outfit and his current market. And so he's looking to bring in European tanned leathers soon. But this Oblum mentions that their shoes are entirely done by hand. That means that they're hand stitched uh, outsoles, hand welted and hand lasted. See what a beautiful job that Tarun and his team have done to create a beautiful fiddle back waist, fairly aggressive fiddle, and a reasonably narrow waist, narrower than models that I've seen from Bridland or Blackbird Shoemaker. So the bottom work here, while fairly simple and elegant, is really beautifully done, almost a piano black look to it. The shoe has what appears to be a blind waist, though I believe that the stitching really only goes to a 180 degree point along the edge of the shoe and not to the 270 degree point to the edge of this heel block here. But I can't say that for sure. I was just studying the stitching and it seems to stop right in this area here. Also included in this sample was a shoe bag that features Oblum's motto right here, as well as this infinity sign handcrafted luxury since 2016. Harun and his team started in leather goods in 2016 and transitioned rapidly to classic menswear and shoes back in 2018. They are now reaching a larger market thanks to their presence on Instagram. So he sent me this package to review. There was no shoe box included. So I received this bag, which is a single shoe bag, a really nice shoe tree. That's very reminiscent to me of the shoe tree provided by Blackbird Shoemaker. I almost think it's the same, same company who may be manufacturing these and a spare set of flat laces here, um, bluish style laces, which would be a little bit more aggressive. The shoes did not come with any shoe trees or packaging in the shoe, so there was a little bit of warping uh, from the transportation along the collar of the shoe that I'm sure will work its way out. You can see that little bit of warping right here. Metal aglets were screwed on after the shoe was laced up. Kind of a cool little touch that I really like uh, that gives a little extra pizzazz to these shoes and makes them a little bit more casual and approachable for daily wear. Oblum as a shoemaker, give them a really strong look if you're thinking about wanting a hand lasted, hand welted, hand stitched shoe, similar to say Yearn Shoemaker or others, but with some higher levels of fit and finish, blind waists, mirror shined fiddle back waists, toe taps, 
you name it. Every brand has some compromises, but Oblum does a nice job of balancing its compromises while offering a really beautiful product. And you're gonna see a comparison between this model, Oblum, and uh, the Bridlin model that I received, also a whole cut, and the Blackbird whole cut that I received uh, several months ago and have worn a couple of times. So you're gonna see all those models in a comparison video soon. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video on Oblum Shoemaker, and I'm really enthusiastic about this brand and give them a look. Hope you're all doing well. Bye-bye. <laughs>